Hey guys, it's Doc. So it's fall and a lot of cool season people are overseeding their lawns. We have some Bermuda people that are getting ready to overseed so they have a green with an annual. So whether you have a fescue, whether you have Kentucky bluegrass, whether you have rye or, or excuse me, bent, whatever you have. I really think if you have an existing lawn, I want you to go out a little bit lighter than most people tell you and I'm going to show you why. Uh, if you're overseeding Bermuda, I'll go over the poundage and I'll show you the experiment we did out here. Basically what I wanted to do was I wanted to come out here and do a light seed at about four or five pounds per thousand square feet and show you what that looks like and then come back and we're going to do another seed. We're going to double that rate and show you what it looks like. So I think sometimes, especially if you have people with cool season lawns have a tendency to put too much seed down in the fall. Uh, you can get a lot of crowding issues when it comes back in the spring. So I just like to do light, but um, I'm gonna show you the difference and that's what we're gonna do today. So hold on. Hey guys, so we did the fairway project over here, which is a winter rye overseed on Bermuda. I didn't wanna do the entire lawn so we just cut in a little fairway over here doing an overseed because so many of you ask about overseeding. Make sure you click subscribe so you can keep up to date on this. <clears throat> and also don't forget we're giving away $5,000, $1,000 every month check to one of you guys. So click subscribe and go to the website, look for the email sign up. It's not a marketing system, it's just an email sign up. So I wanted to come out here before the sun started hitting this so you could actually see this so you understand this is my bermuda lawn there's a lot of dew on it and then this is the newly germinating fairway over here so i have to make a decision i always say start off a little bit light with your seed and then if you want more put more on so we did the same thing you can see the green now the green looks phenomenal but even on the green, I think I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a little bit more. Um, most of this is dwarf blue. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna hit this again with a creeping bent. Even though it looks really good, there's a little bit of bareness. It's not really completely full. So I'm gonna come back maybe tomorrow and hit that again and I'll put that on video. But here's my new germination. This is just about seven or eight days after planting. And I want to give you a pretty good perspective as far as how much seed I put out. I put it out fairly light. And there are some areas, now this is new grass, so it's going to look thin. It's not going to have a dark color to it. But there are some areas up here, like where the sun really hits it. You can see what it looks like here. So my question is, is that enough? seed over seed to have a good looking lawn and the answer is i would say probably yes maybe a little bit more um you have to understand unlike bermuda this type of grass doesn't spread so the seed so the blade of grass that you see is pretty much close to what you're going to have so that's where you come out now after your initial germination and say okay do I want to thicken this up? And my answer is to this, yes. I'm doing it as a fairway. I want to make it thick. So now let's put down a heavy coat. So I'm going to come back and here's what I'm going to do. Uh, today I'm going to cut this. I'm going to put down PGF complete. I'm going to go grab Barb's drop spreader and I'm going to do another round of seed on it. So anyways, I've cut it down to maybe about an inch, nothing real short. And uh, then I gotta go cut the green. Then I'm gonna put out some PGF complete and I'm gonna put out more seed. So that's so, in case you're wondering, one way you can measure the seed is 
ryegrass weighs approximately 3.8, excuse me, 3 pounds, 8 ounces, so that's 3.5 pounds per gallon. So if you want to use a gallon, 5 gallon bucket to measure. So I've got about 2,000 square feet here, and I'm going to put another probably 10 pounds down because I only went about 5 pounds per thousand the first time, so I want to double that up. I'm trying to be real careful. Um, <laughs> I started this over at my pool, then I realized I spilled some seed on the cement, and I'm like, well, where do I do with this seed? So I just don't want this seed getting into the other Bermuda, because I want to keep this the only overseed. Uh, another 10 pounds for this, so about 5 pounds per thousand square feet, roughly. And my initial application was about 4 or 5 pounds per thousand square feet. So, uh, again, I didn't let the grass mature or have full growth after germination, but I could just tell on a little fairway like this I wanted it thicker. So, again, this type of rye does not spread, so <laughs> you want to you want to get it to your thickness level that you like. So next is PGF Complete. All right. So earlier this week I did a video and I put PGF Complete on the green. And oh man, it's looking great. Now since we talked about in the last video, nitrogen equals energy. So my Bermuda lawn gets no nitrogen. It's getting ready to go to sleep. Cool season grass, just starting out, lots of energy. So I'm gonna give a heavy coat of PGF complete and I'm gonna do it every three weeks, <laughs> just during this growing season. But there is the PGF complete. Let me block that sun. This is a 412 or 1648 ratio with micros and iron and some humic DG inside of it. So she's done, cut, seed, fertilize. Now I'm just gonna get the hose and I'm gonna walk along and do my blow down method, which is I take my hose and I put it on a blaster spray and I just walk along slowly and blast those um, seeds down into the ground. So the hard part about this for me is I'm just doing this strip so I can't use my irrigation system. So I got to run out here about three or four times a day and just miss this. But if you'll come out here and just miss it, and especially right at sunset, keep it wet all night, four or five days, you'll probably see some uh, germination. It's actually warm today. It's hitting 80. So that may even help a little bit. We'll see.
That green sure is looking nice, isn't it? I don't know if I want to mess with it or not, but I want to do this experiment. I want to do a late bent seed on it, so. But man, it sure is looking pretty. I'm just gonna putt it a little bit, see how it putts. Man, that's smooth. That is really smooth. That's the best it's putted all year. Just smooth. So as you can see, the sun is setting. And I think this is probably the most important water time of the day when it comes to your newly planted seed. Why? <laughs> she hears chipmunks out there. She goes friggin' nuts for them. Uh, the temperatures are dropping. I mean, it's really dropping fast. There's gonna be a dew on the grass in the morning. So if I come out here and if I get all this seed wet now, it's gonna stay wet all the way through probably till about 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Make sure if you have new seed, the last thing you do in late evening or late afternoon, or early evening, right at sunset, when the temperature starts to drop, is just come out and miss that seed and it'll stay wet all night and germinate faster. Uh, click subscribe, of course, but I'll put links in the description to everything I'm using. I'll even do the fescue, excuse me, the uh, annual rye, the PGF complete, the PGF Balanced, which is the 10 10 10 that you guys, if you haven't, you should be putting a coat on your lawn for the fall. 10 10 10 PGF Balanced. Um, one coat before we go into the fall. And then Jess couldn't come over tomorrow. She had a doctor appointment today. So she's going to come over tomorrow. We're going to do carbon loading on the lawns. So we're going to put human char down. We've got a bunch of stuff going on. And then maybe in the afternoon, my C did come even though the bag was broken. I opened up, anyways. So I may do a plant tomorrow too, but the green's looking great. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Doc.